Guys, they said Igbi was heartbroken as a truck carrying her multi million dollar goose got missing. And the funny part of it is that they said she had been accusing Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi had been praying bad prayers for her all this while. That that is why this thing happened to her. But she refused to check very well because she and the Olori TikTok, they had a serious fight such that they even bet on dealing with each other. They said Igbi asked, uh, Igbi told uh, all of the TikTok to watch her back for insulting her and telling her that she have nothing to show for her marriage with Kabiesi, that she is going to show her. <laughs> and right now, we don't know who is showing who. Yes, yeah, so according to the information, the reason why they have to fight and make threats like this is because they said Kabiesi have Ojaja Mall in Leki. And they said that one is also a very big place. And she he reserved a spot in that Ojaja Mall, the perfume stop, stop, uh, spot, as in a position, a portion. Let me put, use the word portion. She reserved, uh, Kabiesi reserved a portion for Queen Naomi to do her perfume business. Because while Kwenami was still with Kabiesi, why they were still uh, doing that thing, as in uh, establishing that Ojaja Mall, Kabiesi and Kwenami had an agreement that Kwenami will start up a perfume business in that Ojaja Mall. And they said Kwenami loves perfume so much, and that's one business she likes doing. So Kabiesi have promised her that the moment she's finished establishing that place that they are going to give her a spot where she'll be selling her perfume inside that Ojaja mall. And they said that place is a very big place that before you'll be able to get a spot in that Ojaja mall, you know how much that is in your pocket. It costs millions. So, and during that period that KBAC reserved that portion for Queen Naomi, that happens to be uh, that period that Queen Naomi left the palace. And at that point, she was very angry, such that she was even saying that uh, nobody should call her queen again, that she is nobody's queen, that she's not queen anything, that her name is Naomi, Naomi, as name, no. When a woman is angry, she can say anything. And again, I believe that age has a great role to play in the life of every human being. And her age then and now is not the same. I believe if certain things have happened, those things that happened then, I believe it, if it is now, she would have handled it better. But everyone is bound to make mistakes in life, whether you believe it or not. So that is, they said during that period, she was saying that she's no longer interested. They can do anything they like with their sport. And they said KBSC did not rent that sport out. He did not allow the management of that Ojaja Mall to use the spot. He insisted that that spot should be kept for Queen Naomi. Now, I don't know if you remember, there was a time they said Queen Naomi's shop was vandalized, where she was selling uh, lace. They said that place that she was selling lace material, it was KBS who also bought that place when she was getting better, as in when their relationship was getting better. At that point, she's no longer refusing to pick KBSC's call because there was a time she doesn't pick his call. He, she doesn't allow him to see Tadenikawo. He doesn't, as in, he was just blocking him then. But right now, things are better. And they said it was when things are getting better that KBSC bought that spot, uh, that place that she is selling the, uh, her lace material and also established a, a, a perfume spot there also for her. The second BSC gave her millions of naira to uh, supply and uh, buy, sell a perfume there. So that her spot in that lucky uh, Ojaja mall was still there. When Igbi came, she noticed that that spot was empty. Nobody was there. And they said she wanted to use it. But KBSC said no. That if the management want to use it, let them rent it out to anyone who is interested. Then the person will be paying annual rent to Queen Naomi. 
because while he was constructing that place, he put it was in his mind that that place belongs to Queen Naomi. Yes. So that was what they said Kabyeshi told uh, the management. But because the wives have involved themselves with it, they told the management that they will be needing it. They said uh, Igbi was interested. Blo Blo was also interested. But it, it's like it is Igbi that first uh, came for that. So then recently we heard that Igbi was coming there one day because Olori TikTok is in Lagos. She have uh, chances of being there more than Igbi who is in Ileife. So they say she have gone there to arrange things and start making doing her business of perfume there. She maybe she have a uh, speak with the management. But one thing they said she is that she, they, they said it is their husband's property. They are not going to pay any rent and all of that. I don't know. So, but Igbi was the first person who declared interest. On getting there, Olori TikTok was there already doing her thing. And according to her, she said she have ordered 15 million naira perfume and uh, about 5 million naira cabinets that she will use to sample the perfume. And it be on the other side said that she have ordered a, a perfume that was close to 150 million with cabinet that cost her so much again. They started making troubles out of it. It was a serious trouble such that they said uh, Olori TikTok insulted her, calling her old cargo, who does not have anything to show for her marriage with Kabiesi, that she should go and think about her life, that her life is a mess. That the only thing that she brings to the table in the palace is trouble and problems. That there is no how she that have a set of babies for Kabiesi, she'll be dragging position here. That she needs to stay here and make money to raise Kabiesi's children. That she has that that <laughs> hey. They said the insult, eh? It got to Igbi so badly. Then after that, they now find out that. Her goose, the same 150 million goose, they said the kind of perfume she's selling is all these Arabic ones, all this, uh, that, that is very, very costly. So, only for the thing to uh, start as in, they find out that the truck that was conveying that goose down to Lagos got missing. They have searched everywhere, they have tried everything within their power. They did not see where the truck have gone to. Nobody have any news about the whereabouts of the same truck. And they said, instead of me being to keep looking for her truck, she said it is Queen Naomi. That Queen Naomi has been praying that uh, she will start having lost and problem. That it is Queen Naomi. Then my question is, if you challenge Olori TikTok, and even, uh, you know that she is very fast in saying things. By saying that uh, it's over her pie, but they will not return. That is the same way they said she told Olori TikTok that she's going to expose her, that she should watch her back. You know? Who knows uh, which one is coming from? I don't know. It's possible that uh, Olori TikTok must have decided to deal with her. Or is a coincidence? I don't know. Whatever you think about it, share with us on the comment section. I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? Bye. Love you.